Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. This is Abby Wigan and I'm Sandy. If you're here, I'm so glad that you've come by. I just wanted to take a minute and introduce myself and tell you a little bit of how this channel come about and why I'm here. Several years ago, I um, started wearing wigs as a result of losing my hair due to Hashimoto's disease and I was going through um, some physical problems and some extreme stress in my life and I would go and take my showers and just piles of hair would wrap around my fingers and up in the shower floor and I just remember just standing there with the water pouring over my head with tears streaming down my face, not understanding why I was losing so much hair. Um, and just that discouragement of when you would get, go to get ready and you, know, you would fix your face and you know put on a pretty outfit and then fix your hair and look in the mirror and it not make you feel pretty. You just felt like defeated and just quite frankly I didn't want to go out anywhere because I just wasn't happy with my hair and then I started wearing extensions clipping extensions that satisfied me for a little while uh, because I hadn't been introduced to wigs I wasn't aware of wigs and the clipping extensions worked for a while but they were time-consuming putting in and because my hair was so thin they wouldn't hold the extensions in and they would just fall and they would be lopsided and it just took so much time and that discouraged me as well so uh, fast forward I tried on my first wig wore it and I the style that I chose was not me. Um, it didn't reflect my personality and I really didn't know how to style them. I didn't know how to take care of it and it just overwhelmed me the amount of hair because I wasn't used to that amount of hair. And so I, um, I quit. I just said, oh, this isn't for me. This looks ridiculous. I'm not trying this again. And um, still use the little extensions i would clip one or two on the size and that that's really just didn't make me happy because i still had the thin hair and it wasn't uh giving me the the volume and because i i grew up in the 80s i was a result of the 80s and i was you know we liked the big hair and we you know, the bigger the hair the better you know they say the bigger the hair the closer to God and I liked that big hair that volume and I just couldn't get it with mine so I decided that I would try again and as a result of that um, I started going on YouTube and I discovered some YouTube videos uh, of different ladies that were showing the wigs and showing you how to wear them and showing you the the right way to style them and how to make them feel like they were your own and I got more comfortable in them and then I bought a, another one and one that was more my style and I remember putting this one particular I remember what it was it was Aesthetica Blaze. It was one of the first wigs that I absolutely fell in love with. And I put that wig on my head and <laughs> I was like, wow, this is the hair that I always dreamed about. The hair that, you know, I'd see other girls have on their head. And I knew I would never have that kind of hair. I was so envious of it. And I could have it with this wig and it looked so natural. And then I would try a different one and get a little, you know, a little bit more brave and try a different style and a different color. And I remember going out and people stopping me and saying, I love your hair. Your hair is beautiful. And that had never happened to me in my entire life. I'd never had anyone tell me that my hair was beautiful until I wore a wig. Um, and I would just say thank you. I appreciate that because... This is the thing, y'all. 
it's a wig when it's in a box but when you put that hair on your head when you put that wig on your head it becomes your hair so feel proud of it don't be ashamed of it if you want to share with others about the wigs then fine and that's how it kind of progressed I just I didn't want to just hide behind the hair the wig anymore and I'd already had a little bit of a following on Facebook so I got on Facebook and I just told everybody I told them my story I told them about the struggle that I went through with my hair and that I decided to wear wigs and the response was amazing it was so supportive and I had so many women reach out to me and say I'm going through the same thing can you tell me about the wigs that you wear they look so natural and that part of it is what has meant the most to me is being able to help other women um, that come to me with questions and saying you know I'm going through this I'm going through chemotherapy or whatever it is can you tell me a little bit more about the wigs you wear that is what has been so rewarding for me and it progressed from that to you know creating my own channel on Facebook and where I started doing reviews for the Beauty Nook and now it has progressed to this channel here and it's just been a journey for me it's been a fun journey I love doing this this is just something I really enjoy doing and I enjoy meeting new women uh, the community of women that wear wigs um, just really understand each other and are so supportive so I'm so glad you're here I truly just want to be myself I just want to share the wigs that that I love and I enjoy and let you know how I feel about them so if this is a channel that you think would be enriching to your life or feeling and I'm my goofy self y'all you're just gonna get to know the more uh, reviews I put up the more my personality will come out I'm just a goofy girl from West Virginia but I love what I do I love my family I'm a Nana to um, right now I'm sure it'll grow as time goes on but right now I'm a Nana to three beautiful grandbabies and I just love the life that I've been blessed with and um, been married to my husband for 30 years so it's been a wonderful journey and I'm just thankful that we have the, just the privilege of having wigs and being able to wear wigs and share wigs with others so thanks guys I'll see you again soon